Welcome once again to our YouTube channel. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. Quickly, we want to look at the NECO 2025 and Greek Science Practical. We want to look at the specimens that NECO has chosen to use for this year's examination. We have the specimen, the specimens are listed on the screen. We have specimen A to be Bodizo, specimen B is file, specimen C is manure drag, specimen D is granite, specimen E is calcium carbonate, specimen F is sieve, specimen G is cola nut. Specimen H is sweet potato, specimen I is thick, specimen J is louse, and specimen K, which is the last one, is the meat. So without wasting much of our time, we'll go straight into looking at all of the specimens one after the other. So what is a Bodezo, our specimen A? Bodezo is actually a brand name of a company that is specialized in producing a particular instrument. Uh, we call the instrument emasculator. So what is this emasculator? Emasculator is... A castrating device that is used to castrate animals so it is made of a large clamp which is placed strategically by an operator on the male reproductive organ of some animals and this is done to crush or severe the sperm ducts that leads into the testicles it is a castrating device that is used to castrate animals and the process is carried out to prevent blood flow to the testicles which results in testicular necrosis the aim is to prevent blood from reaching the testes and that condition is called testicular uh, testicular necrosis this will lead to shrinking softening and incapacitation of the testes to perform its function it has a metal clamp extended metal metal and sometimes it is coated this is what that particular instrument looks like this is what the emasculator looks like or the budezo can see so this part here is the metal clamp that i'm referring to and it has an opening right about here it has an opening here so that particular opening where the uh the reproductive organ is placed there they actually locate the sperm ducts and then they clip it on these two lever which is the handle so that is how they operate this particular instrument you can see it this is another picture of that emasculator so this is how it is being used they actually put it on this on the genital of that animal so they use the hand to locate the operator makes use of his hand to locate the sperm duct when it has been located he places the tip of the emasculator right on the sperm duct and then he clips it that will severe or rupture the uh, the sperm duct preventing the sperm duct from supplying or uh, from getting uh, blood across to the testes so this is another way through which it is being used or operated you can see it will be clipped and then the sperm duct of the animal uh, will be severe will be severed so the next specimen is the file the file popularly called the farmer's file is usually a double-sided tool that is used for keeping garden tools clean rust free and then ultimately sharp it is used in sharpening metal blades of instruments like the cutlasses the hose and uh, some other instruments on the farm. The file can be used on almost all metal surfaces, including stainless steel, wood, and plastics. On one side of this metal file, we have it having double cuts, and this double cut en enhances faster cutting of the use of that instrument. While on the other side, the single cut makes the fine edge of the instrument that is being sharpened. That enhances the use of this particular uh, specimen. And this is what the specimen looks like. This is what the specimen looks like. This is a file. You can see this is another file. And here is another file. So those are the things that we refer to as files. The next specimen, which is called the manual drag. Specimen C is the manual drag. Traditionally, it is a tool that has been designed for raking manure. It is used to, uh, to gather manure. But it has been used or introduced into some other uses. It has been used for dragging drainage and drains. It is used in ditches, canals, rivers, and ponds to gather depths. Description, it is usually uh, produced to have four tongues. It has four prongs, and these four prongs, the curve to attach to a single solid metal socket head. And then they are extended by a long stick at the shaft. I will show that to us shortly. This instrument differs from the hay fork which looks similar to it but has two to three prongs the hay fork has two to three prongs i'll show that to us shortly also apart from the prongs 
the way the uh the manioc drag is curved the hay fork is not curved that way and then the care to care for this particular uh uh instrument ensure to remove debris from the metal part and then oil before storage so this is what the manual drag looks like you can see it has uh the four prongs one two three four and then they are curved here like this and then they are also curved here like this to join the metal socket here which extends to the shaft that is what i was referring to earlier on you can see how curved it is it is curved here it is curved on this side here and it is also curved on this side here like this on this side here to connect with this particular part here called the socket and it extends to the shaft which is also extended into the what the wooden handle so that is what the metal drag is so this is just the metal on it that is what the manual drag looks like so here i'm trying to show us a picture of the hay fork this is what the hay fork looks like you can see that the fork has two three prongs and they are not curved like the manual drag so that is the major difference that you have between the fork and the manual drag and then we move to the next specimen which is the specimen d the granite granite consists of many mainly feldspar. it consists mainly of feldspar, which is rich in potassium and sodium it also has quartz mica and the amphibole minerals it is a light colored plutonic rock that is found throughout the continental coast the most commonly uh the most commonly in mountains it is most commonly found in mountainous regions granite is usually characterized by coarse texture yes it usually has rough texture and as a result of this result of the cooling slowly below the surface it usually has coarse texture which is as a result of the cooling below the surface of uh the earth and then fine granite can be used for beautification construction even as filtration materials in water purification so these are things that we use granite for and this is what the granite looks like you can see it so these are components or compost uh, compositions of granite you can see so these are the things that granite we are made of then we move to the next one which is the calcium carbonate calcium carbonate limestone this is CaCO3 is a mineral calcite or the aragonite it is a carbonate sedimentary rock with its main source to be lime which is the calcium oxide it forms when the minerals precipitate out of water containing dissolved calcium we usually have this particular carbonate formed when the minerals precipitate out of water that contains dissolved calcium it has numerous uses it is used in steel uh, manufacturing in mining companies it is used in production of paper uh, it is also used in treatment of water and purification as well as in the production of plastics we also make use of it in the production of or manufacture of glass and in agriculture the, this, this particular substance is used as dietary supplements to increase calcium in the body of animals for healthy bones muscles nervous system and health it can also be used as antacid to relieve heartburn, stomach upset, etc. So this is what we are looking at. This is the calcium carbonate. You can see it. That is what calcium carbonate looks like. You can see it in a granular form. This is it in crystalline form, granular form, and then in solid form. So that is what this particular substance looks like. And then we move to the next specimen, which is the sieve. The sieve is a tool sometimes it can be found in the kitchen as an eating so it consists of wire or plastic mesh nets like material held together in a frame it is used to strain solids from liquids or to separate solids of different sizes or also used to reduce soft mid solids to uh, paste or gels it is also used by fishers or fish uh, farmers in sorting of fishes when they are when they are carrying out sorting of their fishes so this is what the sieve looks like you can see some of them are made of metals some of them are made of plastics you can see so that is what the sieve is and then we have the next specimen to be specimen g cola nut. specimen g is a uh, cola nut. so talking about cola nut, we belong to, it belongs to the kingdom plantae 
is the tracheophyte suit uh, from the phylum tracheophyta. The class is Angiosperma. The order is Malvales. The family is Malvaceae. The genus is Cola. And then for this particular study, I made use of two species, the Netida as well as the Acuminata. So for the two science, the two species, we have Cola Netida and Cola Acuminata. Species of organism in this genus are Cola. And that is because of the caffeine containing fruits that they produce. They are used as flavoring ingredients in beverages. And also they are previous thought, it was previously thought to be in the same class with cocoa. The tree has evergreen leaves. And these leaves, this tree reach a height of about 20 meters, that is about 60 feet in height. The leaves of the tree are glossy and ovoid in shape with about 30 cm in width. It has star-shaped fruits harvested from pods when they are dried. Kola nut is eaten to relieve fatigue, depression, exhaustion, migraine, etc. These are reasons why people make use of this particular crop to actually uh, alleviate or to, to uh, relieve themselves of fatigue, depression, uh, migraine, headaches, exhaustion, etc. So this is what the fruit looks like. This is cola nut here. You can see it. This is what cola nut looks like. So this is it in the pod that has not yet been harvested. This is it also here. So that is what cola nut looks like. So we have the next one there to be the sweet potato. The sweet potato is our specimen H. It is the, uh, belonging to the class plant, the kingdom plantae. It is a tractifighter, the angiosperma or the other is uh, Solanalis. The phylum, the phylum again, I said it belongs to the kingdom plantae. The phylum is Tracheophyta. The class is Angiosperma. The other is the Solanalis. The uh, family, the Covolvulaceae. And then the genus, we have it to be Ipomoe. And then the species is Batatas. The sweet potato is an edible perennial starchy uh, vegetable tuber, which covers. Uh, it, it, it grows or it comes in various uh, varieties, majorly white and red. It comes in varieties of white and red. It is a good source of fiber which helps to reduce cholesterol levels. It helps to reduce cholesterol levels. It is rich in proteins, carbohydrates, minerals and vitamins. This particular uh, uh, crop is reproduced sexually by using flowers flowers that bear fruits or are sexually using the eye of the potato that is how we actually uh, propagate this animal this crop similarly we have something that is called irish potato it looks like the sweet potato that one is called the solanum tuberosum that is the scientific name of that particular uh, species this uh, the solanum tuberosum so looking at this uh, nutritional differences in case you are asked to look at the nutritional differences between the sweet potato and the irish potato sweet potato has higher vitamin a and then uh, fibers than the irish potato it is also richer in vitamin c manganese copper pantothenic acid than the irish potato so this is what the uh, sweet potato looks like you can see them sweet potato and then we move to the next one which is the tick tick is an animal also it belongs to the class animalia the kingdom animalia it belongs to the kingdom animalia and then the phylum it is arthropoda It belongs to the kingdom Animalia and the phylum is Atropoda. The class is Arachnida. Order is Ezodide. Then the family, we have it to be Ezodide. The genus is Ezodis and then the species is the Scapularis. So those are the classification of this particular uh, crop. Those are the classification of this particular crop. The tick is an ectoparasite found on the body of many animals with hairy falls on them. It has four pairs of walking legs, that is eight in total, and it has two segmented bodies. It has the head and the abdomen. It is usually found on many animals like dogs, horses, cattle, etc. 
Tick suck the blood of the animals and the relationship that they have with other animals is parasitic. So that is what that particular organism is. So the scientific name of this particular organism tick is called Isodes scapularis. And this is what the tick looks like. You can see the head and then the abdomen and then it has four pairs of working legs. One, two, three, four. So that is what it looks like. You can see it here also. So when it has fed on blood, this is how big it can be. And this is the diagram of uh, the tick when it is being labeled. Then we move to the next one which is specimen J talking about the laos. The plural is lice. So I, I made use of different examples, different things to explain this particular subject here. So the kingdom animalia, it belongs to the kingdom animalia, the phylum is Atropoda, the class is Insecta, the order is the Socode, the family is the Pediculidae, the family again is the Pediculidae, and then the genus is Pediculus and the species. I made, I made use of three species. We have the ones that are found on the body of humans. They are called the Humanus Humanus. So we use the genus and the species name. So it is going to be Pediculus humanus humanus. And then the one that is found on the head is called Pediculus humanus capita, uh, capitis. And then the one that is found on the genital is called the Titrus pubis. All of these are types of lies that, that, uh, that are found on the body of an animal, particularly human. They are obligate parasites of humans. They are wingless insects and they spread their they spend the whole of their lives on their host. They lay numerous eggs on the hair and clothing of host. And then because they cannot fly, they move or spread by direct contact with another person or on bed sheets. Lies are disease vectors that cause epidemic. Epidemic typhoid, fever, etc. They can be treated with proper sanitation. The relationship as well is parasitic in nature. So this is what the lice look like. That is what they look like. So we have the head lice, the body lice, and then the crab lice, the ones that are found in the genital. This one here is found in the genital. This one here is found on the body, while this one is found in the head, in the hair. So you can see the life cycle of this particular animal, the life cycle of the body lice. And then this is how it is when it is being labeled, drawn dorsally and ventrally. That is how that particular organism is. Then we move to the last specimen, which is the meat. The meat. The meat is valued as a complete protein food that contains all amino acids necessary for body growth and development. Meat is, in, uh, it is found in animal, so it is actually animal tissue, often the muscle, which is eaten as food. Humans have hunted and farmed other animals for meat. And so we have different types of meat gotten from different animals. The meat that is gotten from cattle is called beef or veal. The one that is gotten from pig is called pork or bacon. We have the one that is gotten from sheep to be called mutton. And the one that is gotten from deer is called venison. So this is what meat looks like. You can see this is meat. So that is what meat looks like like so that is about the specimen that is going to be used for agri science practical for neco 2025 please try as much as possible to go through the video one more time so as to get yourselves familiarized with everything that has been discussed introduce this video to your friends send them to your friends share them with your friends let them also benefit from what you are getting if you are yet to subscribe to the channel please kindly do so subscribing to the channel has every form of good and benefits to do you Thank you very much for coming along with us.